Um, I'd like to acknowledge as well the, the huge difficulty. Well, it pertained to all parents who were, were minding their children at home during the lockdown period. But of course, it was additionally challenging for, for parents of children with additional needs or with special needs. And I want to acknowledge as well the work of the SEN teachers within our school system who, who kept maintaining that connection between the children and the school which facilitated some of the some of the children's transition back into the into the school placement. So Inclusion Ireland, when they appeared before the COVID committee uh, yesterday, they said that 87 and a half percent of uh, special needs children they're expe they're expected to come back into uh, full time schooling, which is welcome. But that does still leave us with one in eight children within that cohort, for the most part due due to health reasons and concerns that, that they have around their, their health and COVID won't be coming back to school. Uh, so it's important that whatever supports they need in terms of providing uh, homeschooling or some form of blended learning, uh, that's, that's factored in and, and those children are catered for. Um, Minister, I want to talk um, in the first instance about the provision of ASD places, which has been raised already by a number of the speakers. Um, I'm advised that for every 16 uh, children who leave an ASD place within the primary sector, there's only six places available for them in secondary. So there's a, there's a real job, log jam in that regard in terms of that continuity and that, that transition between the two uh, schooling systems. And I, I know from my own um, experience within the primary school classroom that a great deal of what you do in that final term at sixth class for all of the children, and not just for the children with special needs, but, but for all of the children, is about talking about that transition to secondary school. And it's, it's so critically important in the case of if there's a child, particularly with ASD within your classroom, that you begin to talk through those things, that you have that transition program, that you have a connection between the primary school and the secondary school that allows for those children to make that transition in as smooth a way as possible. But there's still a huge issue around the number of ASD places that are available and where, where those are available as well. I want to draw attention just to uh, the SNA uh, issue and particularly around distancing within the classrooms. Now, any teachers, any teachers within any of the cl uh, school classrooms and particularly teachers who are in a high risk category are being advised to tape off a, a two, me two meter social distancing cordon. Um, so that they can teach the class, but, but still maintain that social distancing. Now, it's extremely challenging for any primary school teacher to maintain a two meter gap between themselves and, and the students that they're teaching, but it's practically impossible for an SNA. And we know that, and we know in fact that in many SNAs teaching positions, they don't even have the option. They may not have a dedicated desk within the classroom where they, they can station themselves, and certainly maintaining that two meter distance it's practically impossible. So I would ask the minister to make sure that SNAs who are teaching within that environment, that they have access to medical grade PPE equipment so that at, at the very least, they can feel assured that the equipment that they're, they're using to protect themselves, and maybe they have, might have underlying health conditions themselves. They may have people at home that they're caring for, and they bring those worries into the classroom the same as, as anybody else. Can we make sure that they have the equipment that they need in order to, to have that uh, peace of mind in, in discharging their duty?